mother of a black son and a black daughter. When I watched that video of George Floyd, I literally sat there with tears in my eyes. That could be my son. My son has got learning challenges to express himself, so he gets nervous in situations. So what will he do if someone stops and he goes, I want my mom? And that's what he used to say, I want my mom. So as a mom, I have to, I have to be out here. knew a long time ago that there was no peaceful resolution to the issue of police brutality. They knew that we had to take to the streets and they knew that we had to demand justice and that we had to keep working at it. That we had to patrol the police ourselves and show them that we were going to stand up for ourselves in our own communities. It has to be across borders. You can't stop revolutions in isolation. It has to be international. If they can do it over there, they can do it over here. They can take any one of us. So we have to stand together every single time this happens. Working as an ITU nurse, we've seen the heart of the COVID pandemic and how damaging it can be. And we've also seen how it's attacked our BAME colleagues and population disproportionately. As far as we're concerned, racism is a serious pandemic. Health workers support the black communities in this country, support black lives in the same way that uh, black communities have supported the health service when we were, were battling to save family and friends of those communities at the height of the COVID crisis. People worry about the health impact of these demonstrations. Racism and the impact of racism will take years off of people's lives. And for public health, these demonstrations need to go ahead. We need to protect ourselves. Sometimes you just have to accept that some things are too important. If we didn't take to the streets today, they'd still be killing black people with impunity. There's no other way to do this. There wouldn't have even been arrests. There wouldn't have been the half the amount of coverage or half the amount of outrage if people hadn't taken to the streets. <laughs> for someone like Pretty Patel and, and Hancock to actually accuse protesters of being the ones that could spread this virus. There's been a failure of our government to protect thousands and thousands of people from COVID. Now, the fact that we didn't lock down the country sooner, the fact that we still haven't built a world-class test, track, trace and treat system. We should be testing everyone that went on that demonstration. You know, we should have the ability to do that and then trace them. I didn't see a single police officer on any of these demonstrations wearing a mask. The only people I saw wearing masks and taking precautions and using hand gel and handing out PPE were the protesters and the organisers and Black Lives Matter. I think they've taken this responsibly as they possibly can in the circumstances. Taking on COVID and taking on racism and taking on inequality, we will have to do in tandem. Police! 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 Police!